On another journey, we're off to Napit. Yes, we're off to Napit up at Mansfield. So we're going to go to their headquarters. Um, we're going to go and have a look at uh, look at their building, have a, a, a little bit of a tour, hopefully, uh, and also uh, have a chat with their uh, uh, their team there. Yeah, so we'll hopefully get to see their training facility, mm. the test rigs that they're using, and perhaps model some best practice that they're trying to send out to their electrical industry and their electricians. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it'll be yes. really good. So we're really looking forward to this one. So let's get going. Yep. So we've travelled from our workshop at Tresham College all the way up here to uh, near Mansfield to Napit headquarters just so that we could speak to Richard Townsend about this issue of premature collapse of wiring systems because there's an additional little note that we just need to think about when we're doing an EICR. So here's Richard Townsend, the creator of the Code Breaker. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So what's, what's this point about the EICR and premature collapse of wiring systems? Well with premature collapse, uh, that regulation is UK only regulation, as you're both aware. Mm -hmm. It's been brought about to protect firefighters. Sure. So, if we carry out a condition report and the cable is not being adequately supported, there's a danger it could collapse. Sure. Normally, we'd say, well, that's a C3, you know, okay. going forward, yep. not unsatisfactory. However, the following day, there could be a fire and we could kill a firefighter. That's a very real threat. Yeah, yeah. So, the industry has taken a stance, not just us, but everyone has taken a stance, that going forward on a condition report, that would be a C2, an unsatisfactory finding, mm. because it's not it's not a highly expensive thing to protect a cable mm. from collapsing. Um, so going forward, if a cable is not adequately supported, we would expect to see a C2, yeah. unsatisfactory, and um, the client would need to take that into consideration and look at ways that they could support that cable. Uh, metallic kind of um, fixings, yep. Uh, fixing ties yep. or round band, uh, anything like that. All those things, not necessarily uh, at the same intervals as you would normally fix, because we're looking for premature collapse, not mm -hmm. yep. not adequately, not not complete support. Yep. Support in the event of a fire. So this ties in nicely with what we discussed in our two videos in yep. the workshop, Joe. Yep. Where we're saying our new installation, so our brand new installation, will have fixings for surface wiring, mm -hmm. metallic, that will not collapse in the event of a fire. Yeah. Then we went on and discussed good practice, didn't we, about other wiring systems local to ours. Yeah, so if we were installing our new cable uh, alongside some existing cables, yes, we use metallic fixings for yeah. ours, so our cable won't collapse in the event of a fire, fantastic, yeah. but all of those other cables would. So we were saying we would, we'd either just lash some uh, cable ties, some metallic cable ties around would, those yeah. in order to just support them, or if we weren't comfortable doing that, at least, at the very least, speak to the owner of the building, highlight the danger to them, and ask them what they wanted to do about it. But now we're talking about a very specific situation when we're doing an electrical installation condition report, yeah. and yeah. we're saying that if we find cables that are not adequately prevented about against the premature collapse of the wiring system, that would be a C2, a C2. which is a big deal. It's a big game changer. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Big game changer. Yeah. Potential for risk. Mm. Yeah. And that risk is um, the possible threat uh, on a firefighter's life. Yeah. yeah. So, so no yeah. get out clause now. No. no We're no. applying yeah. it retrospectively. Yes. That's it one thing. One of the need. only regular. There are only mm. two that you could you could kind of call retrospective, mm. and yeah. that is an absolute key one. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. So that ties our three videos together, I think, nicely. Yeah. So we're here today, and we've absolutely nailed that one down as well, with Richard. So Fantastic. we'd like to thank.